In this video, we will take a look at how to create ember particles in Godot, but dust particles and fireflies are very similar to this. If you find this helpful, please subscribe, so let's slide in. Start by opening up Godot, and we can make this a new 3D scene. Next we want to hit the plus button and add a GPU, and specifically a GPU particles 3D, hit create. You will get this warning and that's telling us that we need to add a draw pass and a process material. So go to the draw pass and on pass 1 we create a new quad mesh. Open the quad mesh up and we can go to the material and here you can drag in your texture of choice. I'll link some resources to textures that you can use but you can also get the resources on my github source code. Go to the description and source code and follow the instructions on how to download if you want these textures. So I'll start with dragging in a explosion texture and right now you see it's black around the corners so to fix that we have to go into the material. I'm gonna drag out this window a little bit so it's easier to see. Go into transparency. And on transparency, we set this to alpha. We can also set the vertex color and use as albedo, enable that. That will allow us to change the color through the process material later. Then we can go down to billboard and we can set the mode to particle billboard. This will make it face us always and will also allow us to change properties of the billboard. Then enable keep scale. This will allow us to change the scale in the process material later. And that's it for the draw pass, so we can close this down. We can open up the process material and make a new particle process material. It will start falling, so we can open it up. And we can go into spawn and position. We can change the emission shape to a box. And to easier see the shape of the box, we can increase the amount. I'm going to increase it to 8000. And this will allow us to easier see the shape of the box. And I'm just going to make it 10 on all of the axes, but this is a great way to see the size of the emission ship. I'm going to decrease it back to 8. I'm going to go into the velocity. I'm going to set the max velocity to 2 and the minimum velocity to 1 to have some variability between the ones that are spawning. And go into animated velocity. We can go into angular velocity. Bump the max one up to something like 60. This will make some of them spin around. And we can set the minimum to something like 30. And we probably don't want them to be falling down. We want them to be floating around. So we could go into accelerations and on gravity. And we could either decrease the gravity or disable the gravity. And that will make them just float around. Next we can go into the display. And on scale, here we can change the scale. Right now they are just disappearing. But we can make them smaller at the end. So on the scale curve, make a new curve texture. Open the curve texture up and we have our curve here and if we open that up as well we have two points and if we drag down the last point to the bottom they will shrink at the end of their time. We can even adjust the rotation of it and make it more gradual. I'm gonna close the curve texture down and we can also go into the color curves and on color ramp we can make a new gradient texture 1D. Open the color ramp up. And on gradient, we can make a new point somewhere at the end here. And then select the last point and click on the color and just make it transparent. It's more visible if we drag this middle point. You will see they are transparent and then disappear. I like having it close to the end. So something like that. Close the color ramp down. And we can create an emission curve. If you're creating ember, you want them to glow, right? So open a curve texture up. Uh, make a new curve for this one as well. We can make one point, that's enough. And we can increase the amount to something like 10. And then drag the point up. We might even want it to glow even more, so maybe 20. And I don't think it looks too great right now. So we can mess with the color up here and make it darker. So I feel like something orange like this is looking pretty good. And I don't think they're glowing that much on 20, so I'm gonna increase it to 100. See if they glow a little bit more. Drag it up. You could, if you want to, add another point to this and add it at the end to make them glow less at the end. And then the same as before, adjust the rotation of it if you wish to. We can close this curve texture down. And now to one of the last steps of the process material. Go into the turbulence and we just enable this. And I'm gonna increase the amount. Let's make it 25. Let's set the time to 10. It will make them stay on the screen for 10 seconds. 
then we can go into the turbulence and you might not want them to get this affected by it so if you want them to be less affected you can decrease the noise scale i think something like five is pretty good so i'll leave it at that but for indoor like dust or something you probably want something lower and we can go to the top again and on time set the randomness to one it's always a good practice to do and finally if there is something that you want them to collide with you can enable collision and either make it rigid or hide on contact let's make it rigid you can make uh, the friction a lot more and that will make them just freeze in place if they hit the collision or you can make them bounce away this wouldn't really fit with this but water drops for example then there is also hide on contact i think for this example rigid fits best and creating the uh, friction to one that will make them if they hit uh, a collision they will just freeze in place on the collision until they disappear and to show this off um, we can select the node 3d and hit the plus button and add a gpu particles collision box 3d we can increase the size to something like 20 on all the axes next we can add a, a csg combiner with a csg box and on the combiner enable use collision that will give it a collision to the csg box i'm gonna set the size to 20 on the x and 20 on the z to make it fit the area and i'm just gonna give it a quick material and right now they are stuck in place because of the gpu particles collision box i meant to not add a collision box but instead add a height field so remove the gpu collision box and instead add a gpu particles collision height field 3d and this will give collision to everything in its area let's make 20 on all the axes and now when it hits the ground it will freeze the ember that's something you may want and if it's not working too well you can change the update mode to always but it's a little bit slower on performance that's something you could do i'm also going to increase the amount to 50 right now since some of them are getting stuck you could add a gpu and we want a attractor let's add a sphere this basically either attracts or detracts particles from the area so if i increase this on its size and if i increase the strength particles will come towards this area as you see right now you may want fireflies or dust or whatever to go away from the player when it moves around and for that you can make it negative you might not want to make it this strong and if we increase the area it will start moving away so that's a pretty cool thing thanks for watching and special thanks to our ko-fi members for making this video possible if you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos check out our ko-fi in the description and we will see you in the next one